So, first day of the new year, and I brought it in working. Working, working, working. Uh, 15, 18. Remember that number? But yeah, it is January 1st, 2018. It's like 11, 20. Six and uh, I ain't, ain't getting any vlogging. Okay, yo, what it is? It's the kid, those 27. It's Wednesday, July 3rd, 2018. Uh, what I want to say? Oh, yeah. I ain't finna go into, oh, this is my New Year's resolution. However, what I want to do in 2018 is uh, work out. Try to work out every most importantly, work every day. Get that money. But yeah, uh, it's small little something in the works as far as getting all of that together. But remember the numbers, 15, 18. But yeah, it's Wednesday. Kale getting her nails done. I just went and checked my P.O. box, got mail, uh, sent some packages off. Needed to do that. When you don't have no life, so you just sit in the window while motherfuckers trying to deliver food. She definitely the person who called the police on everybody. How was he at? Hey Martha. Hey Martha. You got blinds, Martha. So if you leave your blinds alone, the, the the lights won't be shining in your crib. However, I'm waiting on Big Pete to come get his food. So, mind your business, Martha. You just gonna stand at home, Martha. Alright, fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Fuck it. She must be the person like people fuck with her all the time. She gotta be the person that people mess with all the time. She thinks somebody mess with her. Martha, I'm just I'm just delivering food. So it's Saturday the sixth. Last night was funny. Last night was crazy. I'm still sick. I had a little cold. I think last night was the worst of it. I ain't get no sleep, headache, fever, but you know, a whole bunch of Robitussin and Tylenol, warm, uh, warm salt water and all of that, but I'm uber eating, uh, man, it ain't really been too much going on, um, in this new year, pretty much. Same shit, same grind, same everything. I think I'm going to do a custom t-shirt tutorial. <clears throat> I think I'm going to do like two or three t-shirts. It'll be at the end of this video. So, while I wait at McDonald's for this food to come out, uh, let's talk about goals and shit for 2018. Uh, let me just get a five major goals for 2018. Uh, one, <clears throat> get in my car. Uh, not really sure when. I, I know it's going to happen before my birthday. Birthday, March 25th. So, at the latest, it might happen, like, right on my birthday or right around my birthday, but pretty much I plan on doing that before my birthday. So, I got, like, a three-month three, three month window to work with. Two, um, damn, what is this? Two is uh, Uber Eats. Uh, Towards the end of 2017, I started slacking on Uber Eats, but I want to make it. Uh, I want to make it a mission to complete at least 
15 to 18 trips a day. Um, that way I'm just active for one. I'm staying active doing something and for two, you feel me? Uh, I can basically tally out the money flow from anywhere from 15 to 18 trips. I know I can make, I know what I can make on that, so. Number three is an apartment. I'm trying to move into an apartment in my own, in my own slot, in my own crib, do my own thing. And when I say own, I mean like no homies, no girlfriend, no nothing, just strictly me by myself. Uh, can y'all come over? Yes. Can y'all spend the night? Yes. But I just want to have my own space, have my own, you know, just, you know, have my own shit. Number four, work on, like, a media kit. And when I say media kit, like, work on getting me a decent camera for vlogging. Work on getting me a probably, like, a little inexpensive laptop for editing. Uh, suction mounts and shit. Uh... Probably give me a few GoPros. Just, just like, just give me a, a a little startup kit, or just give me, just get some stuff that I'm gonna need for vlogging. Cause I know I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need, uh, I know I'm gonna need a lot of stuff for vlogging. So basically, work on my equipment for vlogging. And fifth and final thing I want to work on is uh, communication. And it's kind of twofold because of like communication with my family because I, I know a lot of people calling me, texting me, a whole lot of shit. And because I'm working or doing something, even when I'm done doing what I'm doing, I'm not really quick to get back so, just working on my responsiveness and uh, communication skills, and working on my communication with the uh, man upstairs, getting a better relationship with God and all of that. Uh, not the most spiritualist person. Don't claim any denomination. I'm not Catholic. I'm not Protestant. I'm not anything. I just believe in God and uh, just getting a better spiritual relationship I feel like that's going to be important and uh, yeah that's pretty much it that's going to sum up really my five major things that I'm trying to do in 2018 happy Monday But I guess they done with all of that. Back here. This shit is. So I'm hoping they gonna replace this shit. I'm talking about just cleaning it, but I'm gonna do this motherfucker. See that 53 degree on this, I think it's Wednesday, 53 degrees in January in Chicago. Yo, what up, it's Thursday. I'm uh, trying to get the fucking windshield wipers to work. But <clears throat> I'm online right now, so I'm working, doing my thing. These elevators just be taken over there. I'm on my way to the crib, just so warm out here, like it feel like fall weather. Like I took my coat off earlier, cause. It was so warm. Oh. 
So, it's Friday, January 12th. Just left the uh, dealership. Yeah. Getting a car is harder than motherfuckers make it seem. Without credit history, large loans, and different things like that, get getting a car is... is I don't know. I don't know. So, basically, the theory is... I was looking at cheap cars. Not cheap, but used cars. And my budget was around 15 grand. Just... You feel me? Just buying a decent little car. I know it's going to be used. The bank's theories is... They're going to give you a small loan for the car. For the inexpensive car or whatever. Something's going to go wrong with the car and you're not going to want to finish paying for the car. Which entails, you know, it, it hurts the bank because they don't get the rest of their money. But, I mean, when you think about it, like, it's going to hurt your credit and you need your credit for the rest of your life. So, I mean, I would finish paying either way. However, they would rather put you in a new car, um, get, get you low interest rates, because it's gonna come with the warranty. And by the time, you know, you're sick of the car, done, you know, the car starts acting up or whatever, the warranty will, will be gone <clears throat> and you won't owe shit on the car. It, it made sense, but then it was kinda like, yeah. it made sense, but it was like, still like, I don't wanna be in a brand new car just because it's just a lot. It's just too much. I would rather be in a used car that I'm not expecting a lot. Worst well, case scenario, my mom bought a brand new Ford Focus. My fucking clutch and everything. 2016, the clutch and everything was going out of it on an automatic. And yes, automatic cars do have clutches. Um, if you're not a car head, don't, don't say shit to me. If you don't know about cars, do not call me stupid or any of that because you don't know what you're talking about. Automatic cars have but, clutches. <clears throat> and it had transmission issues, the car would shift out of drive into neutral. But basically, she had a brand new car and she started having problems with a brand new car. And that's the last thing I want is a brand new car and end up start having problems with a brand new car. Rather than get a used car and kind of expect for problems, like look for a nice used car, but expect that mm, it, it could potentially be problems and you know, you can, you can kind of prepare for that since you're not paying as much, you know, out of pocket monthly. You could kind of, you know, take care of those issues. Because the worst thing you want to do is buy a brand new car. It ends up having issues and then the dealership or whatever. And I know it's going to be a lot of people. You go demand that they fix it. It ain't that fucking easy. Trust me. Trust me. It's not that fucking easy to make them fix some shit that they should be fixing for free. It's, it's not that fucking easy. I don't give a fuck if you got an iron fist. It, it's not easy at all because they're going to try it in each and every way possible to make it your fault and make it your bill. So, I'm not going nowhere else. I'm not going to run my credit again. I actually got an alert. Shout out to Credit Karma when they did run my credit for the uh, my credit history or whatever. I actually got a little alert or whatever saying that, you know, there's somebody inquiring about my credit. So, with that being said, um, grind, like serious grind, like grind like no, uh, would have been up, I want to say about three or four bands had I not took the L with that city ticket and had to pay the $1,200, $1,300 to get the car back and all that. But we're not going to speak on other things. I'm going to leave that situation in 2017. Look forward, uh, but it's, it's a true grind, like true grind. Like I said, I'm a kind of have more subject based videos this video is actually going to be more subject based towards the end on how to make your own custom shirt custom branding and stuff like that but yeah as these vlogs continue on bro man i'm gonna have more subject based videos trust me but it's like i said it's gonna be a constant grind because i really don't like this like i i'm a type of person i like being in control of stuff and yeah i i want to just be able to go walk on a lot I don't give a fuck of 10, 15, 13,000. Like, here you go. I want my shit. Like, that's 
That's where I'm at with it. This is a first. Uh, I had to get a name badge to come into a restaurant. So, okay. Like I said, this is my first time I'm gonna get like a pass or something to come grab some pizza. But I did run to the bathroom and I saw on the other side, on that side, like it is some office building. So you never know, it could be like a federal building or whatever, but grind it, grind it, grind it. This is the part about Uber Eats that blows me. 55, Yeah, I just did the food off, but this is the part about Uber Eats that I fucking hate. So the place where I had to go to go pick up the food was literally down the street. So I came down the street, had to like squeeze into a park. I got the blinkers on. And this man live on the 55th floor. Like, you can go 54, 55 floors down and walk down the street. Shameful. Note to self. I know I said I would start doing my subject based videos, <clears throat> but I'm going to start titling the vlogs based upon what I'm doing. So I know Stratman, you know, got, oh, I'm finna do food vlogs and then car vlogs and shit like that. So I do do shit besides just work. I do go shopping. I do go look at cars, motorcycles. I do design stuff. I, I, I do a lot of designing and I never film it. I do a lot of designing, pressing, and that type of stuff. So instead of just saying those 27 vlog week. 30 or whatever like i'm gonna just you know if i'm mainly doing something in that vlog that's what i'm entitled to it. i don't know why i always come across accidents but i pray everybody involved in this is all right uh i don't see the other car so i'm assuming this person hit a tree or something but Some other shit that I extremely hate is when somebody said or well, leaves the fucking room number information on the Uber and you get to the front desk of the hotel or the house or whatever and the, the front desk calls upstairs, tell them their food is here and the front desk asks you want me to send it up and they say no I'm gonna come down. The fuck was the point of you leaving me your room number and shit if you was gonna meet me in the lobby? Like, the customer's always right. The customer's always right. Man, I'm still a little sick. I'm still in the bed. I know I said uh, I was gonna do like a custom t shirt tutorial at the end of this video but i did some editing and this video is actually still like 20 minutes long and uh yeah i don't i don't want to make it any longer so link in the description for the uh custom t-shirt i did a whole separate video uh link in the description all my social media go follow me on instagram have me on snap uh link to the store is that your store is in there go cop some merch like comment subscribe and i'm out